Hi guys, my name is Chris Bremed and I'm a physique coach that specializes in teaching clients how to use drugs and supplements to better reach their goals. In today's video, we're going to talk about GPL-1 receptor agonists, which are appetite suppressant medications that help people lose fat. So these drugs were originally invented to help reverse type 2 diabetes. And one of the ways they do that is by helping reduce appetite and stopping you eat so much food. So how can we utilize them for us? Well, whether you're someone who just struggles with appetite or you're really far into a diet and your hunger has been driven up, these can help just give you the control back. A lot of us struggle with the control around food, whether it's cravings and hunger, and it makes us act like a different person and causes a lot of unnecessary stress. So by utilizing these medications, we can just give the control back. And I know that because before I was able to recommend them to anyone, I had to trial every single one of these, which is why I'm talking about today from experience and as a knowledgeable professional. So the first one we're going to talk about is liraglutide. This is a newer form of it in a peptide valve, which is a lot more affordable, which is why we're talking about them today. Because the things you'll be seeing in the past are things like the skinny jabs and skinny pens, which came around about five years ago originally. No one really knew what they were, there wasn't much information on them. All they knew is it helped you lose weight. Now there's people like myself talking about them with more experience and more knowledge. We're able to give a little bit more detail on how that works. So this is what you'll originally see, the short acting version that looks like an insulin pen because it's brought in the same way, has a dial on the side, you set your dosage and you take that at least once a day or sometimes twice a day. But the, the drawback with this is it's quite expensive. So we've now got a peptide vial. Peptide vials, you literally mix up with some sterile water and you use a little tiny insulin pen and you do a subcutaneous injection. All of these injectable, by the way, so you're gonna to have to do a subcutaneous injection regardless. So that's literally just grabbing the skin and you do it with a small pinprick, literally, a tiny little pin. Later on, they developed longer acting versions of these same medications because obviously some people don't want to be doing an injection every day, which makes sense. The reason we don't have most medications do injection is because people would rather take a tablet than an injection, which again makes sense. A better way to take medication and a, and a less toxic way to your body is actually through injectable. So the longer acting versions, are dulaglutide and semaglutide. There'd also be another pen here in the semaglutide form called Ozempic. You might have heard Ozempic fat loss pens. The Ozempic pens are four times the price of these and they do the exact same thing. And I know that because I've taken the Ozempic pens as well, so same as these and all the other medications. But we've also got the dulaglutide, which it, we, we class more of a, a medium acting one because it lasts for about five days, but it's a one shot pen. So this one, you can't change the dosage on like you can do with these very easily. And these, you literally just like an EpiPen, stick it in, and it fires the pin into your body, shoots the whole solution in, kicks in after about half a day, continues getting stronger. Second day, you got no appetite, you feel sick. Third day, fourth day, same. Fifth day starts to come back. Day six, you start having again. So I don't really recommend that as a good usage of a, a pen. It was one that I tried last year, hence the reason they're still here, because they they, they, they are. They are the worst form, in my opinion. And still more expensive than semaglutide. You could use this, mix it with one milliliter of water, and then I recommend people use it for every five, seven days. It's very simple, very effective. And it's like taking them for me was so weird because I did it when I was deep into a diet. So my hunger was really, really high. And I've done that so many times before, being a competitive bodybuilder for the last 12 years. So taking every single drug, and supplement that we've got known to man, most of the ways we suppress appetite are with stimulants. They make you feel awful, you feel jittery, and just you can't sleep, you feel anxious all day. These do none of that. The only thing I saw was if the dosage went too high, you got a little bit of acid reflux because your gastric emptying slows down, so the, the amount of time it takes to, for your food to clear your stomach slows down. So you got a bit of acid reflux from that, and you uh, sometimes felt a bit sick if it was too high. But you get that from any appetite suppressants. If you're taking too much and you can't eat at all, that's not the aim of taking too much. The aim is to just bring it down to a point that you feel in control. And it's really weird when you take the correct dosage of this, because you don't feel sick, you don't feel any side effects. You just feel like the point before your diet, when your appetite was under control and you felt fine. And that stress and that being hangry where you want to kill everyone was just gone. Everything was gone. And you just feel fine. It's, it's a very weird sensation. But for me personally, I was able to drop a further five to 700 calories easily out of my diet, which made me drop body fat a hell of a lot faster. 
when I was already in a deficit. So I went from sort of 500 to over a thousand calorie deficit per day and dropped fat really, really fast. I still felt fatigue. I still had to do my steps, still had to do my cardio, still felt fatigue from being low calories, but didn't feel any of the normal stress that surrounds that where I'm literally clock watching. I just can't think about the next meal and uh, it was gone. So I can't recommend these enough. After 12 years of doing this whole bodybuilding endeavor and trying, like I said, every drug and supplement that we have available, these are literally some of the, the one that I would ha recommend the most and the most effective, useful drugs we have for everyone. Obviously, some are only useful for certain populations. Everyone struggles with their appetite and the stress that brings and the and difficulty through dieting. That just makes it a lot easier and it helps a lot of your health markers in the process. Definitely give them a go. Semaglutide is the one I recommend in the peptide vials. It's a hell of a lot cheaper. Simple to adjust the dosage, simple to mix, store it in the fridge, take a shot every five to seven days, and then just relax and watch that body fat come off.